Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this video we're going to talk about the triangle proportionality theorem. So let's read what this theorem states. It says if a line parallel to one side of a triangle intersects the other two sides then it divides the two sides proportionally. So let's look at two examples or maybe two diagrams that can kind of give us an image of what this theorem actually looks like. So over here on the left side of the screen we see this, this big triangle ACE and notice we also have BCD, kind of a smaller triangle. So what it's telling us here, if a line parallel to one side of a triangle, so here's the line we're talking about, intersects the other two sides. So these two lines are parallel, right? That's what these arrows mean, those lines are parallel. And segment or line BD intersects the other two sides of the triangle. So it gives us this if then statement right here. If BD, if line BD is parallel to segment AE, then, and here's where our proportionality theorem comes in, or our proportion comes into play. Then it says CB, so I'll, I'll do like a number one here, CB, the small side, over BA is equal to CD over DE. Okay, so it's like one, one over two equals three over four. Okay, so if those two lines are parallel and that's already given to us, then we can say, yes, the, it splits the triangle proportionally. And if the lines aren't parallel, like we see at the diagram on the right, then if we have the measures of the sides and we can set up a proportion, and if they are equal to each other, then we can then prove that the two sides or that segment BD is parallel to segment AE. And that's what gives us this if-then statement right here. So kind of like the converse of what we see on the left side, right? We just switch the if and the then part. So now it says, if we know that the sides are proportional, then that tells us that the segment is parallel to the end of the triangle, okay? All right, so let's look at a couple examples, all right? First example says just find the missing length. So our missing length is right here, and now we can set up our proportion, okay? So we could say 12 over x is equal to 8 over 10, okay? So we did 12 and we did x, right? That part really doesn't matter. You could do x over 12, that's fine. But since we started with 12, we need to start our second fraction with the, cor the corresponding side, which would be eight right there, okay? All right, so this was 10, okay? So now we can go ahead and cross multiply, or if we wanna make the math simpler for us, we can go ahead and um, simplify that fraction eight over 10. So we could say 12 over X is equal to four over five, which is divide eight and 10 by two. And now we can cross multiply. So X times four would be four X, 12 times five would be 60 and 4x equals 60, so we can divide both sides by four, and we get x is equal to 15, okay? So our missing side would be 15. All right, we could go ahead and do that because we knew that those sides were parallel, so we could use our proportionality theorem. Now let's look at this next example. Now they ask us, is segment BE parallel to segment CD? And notice what they give us this time. We get the side lengths, okay? So all we have to do is set up our proportion, cross multiply, and if our, our sides are equal to each other, then we know that they, yes, they are parallel. If they're not equal to each other, then we're gonna say no, not parallel, okay? So once again, there's different ways we could start our proportion. I'm just gonna go ahead and say 44 over 29, so working with this side of the triangle, is equal to 32 over 22. Notice we did it in the same order there, okay? So now we can cross multiply. We do 29 times 32, that gives us 928 and 44 times 22, and that gives us 968. Okay, so is 928 the same as 968? No, so we draw our line through the equal sign because those are not equal to each other, and we can say no comma segment BE is not parallel to segment CD. Okay, and that is the triangle proportionality theorem.